I did not be shy. You are fasting. Oh! Daddy, I never hear children. I'm also a fellow with that. In fact, I'm an area pastor. I command you to kiss side in Jesus' name. And this says to my wife, you know the way you give up. Try to go in there. Where? So, but I don't see the tongue transfer now. Auntie, come, let me teach you. <laughs> <laughs> I got carried away at a, at a wedding a, a, a party I went to Hong Kong. You know, when the guy was so shy, come on, hold your babe now. He was so shy. I said, please come, let me teach you how to. And people, no, 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 don't worry, you can do it now. And they finally got to do it. I, I like that, man. I like that. You know, I love, especially when you go to church, like my pastor. Uh, region, region 19. Region 19. And uh, Brown Louis is my pastor of the Christian Church of God. And I've come to notice something. When you see, see, when you see man of God or men of God that are married to beautiful women, when you invite them to your church to minister, the way they go about it is different. But those where their wife not too fine, it's different too. For instance, you're married to a beautiful woman, you know, one of the most beautiful women in the world. And you, you are being called upon to come minister. When you get there, you just go like, um, You're on the altar already, on the pulpit. And you go, uh, well, thank you, Jesus. And um, I need to quickly do this. Um, it's nice to be here to minister to you. Uh, but somewhere seated here is my lovely second half, my beautiful baby. Somebody, the Lord, has my ribs in her. Uh, please, children of God, can you make some noise? Please, mommy, can you stand up? Jam your hands together for... Mommy, blah, 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 blah. You go clap, blah, 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 blah. Now flip the script. Wife, no fine. You go and um, immediately the man of God just gets on, on the pulpit. He just goes, uh, well, um, let somebody shout hallelujah. Um, uh, today we are here to talk on something very fundamental. By the way, I have my wife. She's somewhere in the auditorium. Uh, but because of time, uh, let's just go straight to the topic of the day. <laughs> Truth. Because of time, let's go into the topic of the day. They just, I beg you. And one thing they do, one thing I've noticed, you see, as I ask God of now. one thing I've noticed men of God do. I, I might be wrong, I might be right, but one thing I've noticed them do. When your pastor now comes to church and it's like, um, let me see. If, okay, let's see, let's see. If you hold your wife, before coming to church today, can you shout for Jesus? Okay, you hold yourselves. Oh, great. If you kissed your partner today, can I hear you shout hallelujah? Now, because he dwam that day. Now he goes, uh, so when you're know, like, everybody demons answer. Where are they dickies? Where are they dickies? Okay. Uh, well, my wife is there. Baby, did we kiss today or not? Yeah, we did, right? So you see that that is not lying. So let's leave an example. How many of you did today? Now, because they do. I wish as a member, one of these Sundays, when I notice that their mommy are not too collaborating, I'll just take the mic. Please, if you know you kiss your wife today before coming out, can I see your hands up? <laughs> you see that even pastor you will raise up her. And that is just what it is. Alright, so please, we're still waiting for those on the green.